Right, so the Callaway Rogue ST Max irons are their flagship irons for 2022. The super game improvement, low lofts, big distance irons, featuring a ton of technology such as the tungsten weighting, AI flash face cup, and a lot more. On first impressions, these irons are very good looking. Aesthetically, I think they're one of the best looking game improvement irons of 2022, but they're quite large. Comparing them to the TaylorMade Stealth, there is actually a big difference. The TaylorMade Stealth looks a lot smaller at address. I'm gonna test these out. I'm gonna head over to Manning's Heath on a par three and hit these. I've got a full set today, and I'm gonna just see how they can compare against some irons I've already tested this year. On first glance, these may be a little bit too chunky for my liking. The most important thing is how they perform. Let's head over to Manning's Heath now and see what they're actually like. So the first hole here is 187 yards and I have in my hand an eight iron. No, I did not misspeak there. I've got an eight iron that is not essentially an eight iron. With all these game improvement clubs, the lofts are extremely strong. I'll put the loft of the seven iron for relative comparison up on the screen for you now for the max. And it's, it's not a seven iron, is it guys? It's like a five or even a four iron. You know my views on it if you've watched a few of my videos on other game improvement. I don't think they really need to keep strengthening them, but if they're going on the lines of these are the longest clubs ever, that's what they kind of have to do. But there's one thing that Callaway have done with the three models that makes it a little bit easier for people who don't essentially want to have so much distance clubs with such strong lofts because sometimes they're not that helpful. These feel very good. I'm a big fan of the Stealth this year. I think TaylorMade have made some big improvements, but the Callaway Rogue ST Max from Feel Alone, the improvements that Callaway made with the AI Flash Face Cup, with the tungsten weighting, they're a really pleasing club to actually hit. I don't necessarily think they're that pleasing to look down at, but that's just me. If I'm looking at the higher handicap players, I think this is something that screams forgiveness and screams a really positive amount of feel as well. That's something that I think Callaway have really focused on this year. Lovely, lovely. Just, I cannot get over how good this feels. So that's actually gone long, <laughs> but it just feels so lovely. It's a really explosive feel that you get to it as well. Something that is a little bit different to previous iterations. I feel like you could almost compare it to the piece of a 90 in 2019 with how explosive it feels off the face. I mean, that could be in. Ah, it's just such a nice shot. I think it's right by the pin there. So I've just hit, I'll hit one, this one more. I've hit four shots there. I'm really interested to see the dispersion because this is again, raw footage. I aren't editing anything out. You can see the pitch marks that we've got and they're just bullet straight. That was slightly out the toe. So I imagine that's not going to go very far, but it's still a really good looking shot. Never mind, I'm completely wrong. That's gone long as well. So despite that being out of the toe, I think we're going to have some 200 yard eight irons there, which you can see a few bits of breeze, but nothing crazy. Maybe five, six, seven, eight mile an hour breeze. And this eight iron's gone a long way, but as you can see by the tracer, it's still getting quite a nice ball flight. Let's have a look. So I did find all of those balls there, but surprisingly none of them hit the green because they were a good 15, 20 yards past. That eight iron went there was going about about 200 yards. An absolutely ridiculous statement, but when we talk about the lofts, which I have done already, it's not really an eight iron, it's more like a six iron. When I took the seven iron to a launch monitor over at Silverman Golf Club, the full swing simulator, the seven iron was going about 220 yards. I'll put the exact data on the screen for you here. And although it's a seven iron, you can see with the spin at around 5,000 RPM, just climbing below that, that's more showing towards a five iron, a six iron or so. But it has a fairly high launch angle and descent angle, meaning that you can stop them just about okay. I still think for someone who has a fastish swing speed that it wouldn't be recommended to get these but it's obvious that these irons are down towards people who perhaps have a little bit lower of a swing speed need as much help they can get but if you don't want those strong lofts Callaway have been smart because the OS and the light have higher lofts the OS and the light despite being the more forgiving models have higher lofts. Now you might think this is slightly against the norm. Things that are more forgiving nowadays have lower lofts, more distance. But we're realizing, and I think Callaway's realized as well, that distance doesn't mean forgiveness. If someone told me that I could hit a seven iron 140 yards for the rest of my life completely straight, I'd snap their arm off. Please, somebody tell me how to hit an iron straight. And this is what the OS and the light are like. Unfortunately, I don't have them with me today, but they are larger, they have more offset, but I'll put the lofts on each seven iron on the screen for you now to show that they don't need to have more loft. They don't need 
to have more distance, do they? They're still gonna be good irons. They're still gonna launch higher. They're gonna have a steeper descent angle, which would be nicer when you go on those hard greens. You'll hold the greens easier. God, that must have been so close to the camera. <laughs> So are the Callaway Rogue ST Max irons right for you? That's the title of this video and there's a reason behind that. I think a lot of you when watching this video initially will probably think, no, of course not. They're too big, the lofts are too strong. But I will say about the lofts is they're exactly the same as the LTDX, the same as the Stealth, and you have the option to go higher. So let's negate that a little bit if you are looking for a game improvement set. I think the difference between these and the Cobra and the TaylorMade is they are a lot larger. I think they offer a lot more forgiveness. What you have to think about is how long you want to have these irons for. These are a very good price, right on the screen for you now. But if you are really wanting to get lower, a lower handicap, would you be happy using these when you're off something like a 10 handicap, let's say? I don't think that's a problem, but you wanna get lower once you get to something that's a handicap, which we would define as a, a mid to low handicap, that's where you wouldn't recommend these irons. If you are just someone who wants to have as much fun as possible and have a really nice feeling iron, that's when I'd look straight to these. So that, without a doubt, is the furthest a full iron has ever gone, I think, for me, ever. I know it's not a full iron, but this hole is about 330 yards. It's gone about 280. It's downhill, but that just shows the sheer distance that you can get out of the max. I don't think I particularly hit the ball very well in this little filming session here, and yet my dispersion is very tight. It is speaking for itself here. I am a chip in these work though. God, that's absolutely dreadful. That brings me to the end of the video, guys, on what I think is a very underrated iron for 2022. I do feel like the Callaway Rogue ST irons have swept under the radar a little bit this year. I'm sure a lot of you guys who have tried it out or even purchased these irons have a lot of positive things to say. I think when you're comparing them to TaylorMade and Cobra, it may not be for as broad of a spectrum of golfers, but I think from certain parts of a category of an iron, such as feel and performance, display, version, forgiveness, this definitely tops the bunch. You can probably tell that I am alluding to a big comparison of the game improvement irons, and don't worry, that is coming very soon between Callaway, TaylorMade, and Cobra. And if you want me to include any other ones, such as Wilson, PXG, Mizuno, let me know down in the comments. Guys, if you have any questions about these irons or want to let me know about your experience, hit the comments down below, let me know, and I'll reply to all of them. And if you are new to Golf Magic, smash that subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our future videos. I think I may put the four iron in my bag actually for my medal this weekend so i'm gonna do a bit more practice until the next video guys i'll see you later